Capturing WPA handshakes with the Wi-Fi pineapple, this time on Hack5. Hello and welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. It's your weekly dose of Technolust, and I'm so excited. One of the things that I'm so often asked about is cracking the encryption of Wi-Fi networks. And it has been so long since we've covered this topic. Really, last time I think we did it, it was using Cowpatty and web networks were something that you could find in the wild. So this has been a long time coming. And I, honestly, I'm not going to get too technical on the cracking end. I'm really going to save that for a future video with a special friend. But I can say with like 99.99% .99 certainty, you are probably using a Wi-Fi network at home secured by WPA. And that is Wi-Fi protected access and uh, you're probably using it in personal mode or PSK mode as it were, which just stands for pre-shared key or put another way, it's the, the password you give to your friends and then everybody knows how to hop on your network. Uh, as opposed to WPA Enterprise or 802.1x, where typically a, a radius server does the authentication. And, you know, well, we've got some fun hacks on that front, too, actually, on the Wi-Fi Pineapple. Chances are you're probably not running Enterprise at home. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? Is a Hack5 audience. Leave a comment below if you're rocking WPA Enterprise at home. Uh, <laughs> I... I can imagine quite a few of you may be. Anyway, um, going back to WPA personal though, it has been known for a long time that offline brute force attacks are very effective at cracking WPA keys, especially if they've got weak passwords. Um, once you have captured what is called the four-way handshake. And what that means is that is the, the, the negotiation between the client and the access point where they become best friends. And so if you can capture that moment of authentication between the two, then at your leisure, you can toss a bunch of computing power at the thing and crack the key rather than needing to be online and actually within proximity of the access point and, and cracking the password like very slowly and monotonous, uh, not mon monotonously. So if you're on a wireless engagement and you've been contracted to audit the security of a Wi-Fi network and cracking WPA is in scope, then here's how you can use your Wi-Fi pineapple with the latest 2.5 firmware to grab that handshake capture right from recon view. So I'm here on my Wi-Fi Pineapple Nano in a live recon view and I can see all of the various access points and the, uh, the various clients that are connected to them. And what I'm gonna do is, if I come down here to my target network, which is aptly named H5 Target, I can actually see that there are already a, a few devices connected. These three devices are, are connected here. Now if I click pause on this scan and then go down here, I have the various different menu buttons uh, next to the, the elements here. So for my network, I have the ESSID or the network's name, the BSSID or basically its MAC address, as well as its security type. In this case, it's WPA. And it's actually in this menu that we can capture the handshake simply by clicking start capture. I know this couldn't be easier, right? And from here, the Wi-Fi Pineapple is listening on just this channel uh, for this access point for the associations of any clients. And honestly, in a large office, this wouldn't really take long because eventually someone's gonna roam within range and connect. Otherwise, if you have been authorized to do so, you can click this little deauth button and it will perform just that. A deauthentication attack, spoofing the access point and disconnecting all of the clients. So be sure to get approval before doing this because you don't want to accidentally the whole network and then the client's mad at you on the pen test and then nobody's having fun. Alternatively, you could actually go and click into the MAC address of any of the clients and then deauth them if there's one specific that you're allowed to. But in any event, soon after, on your Wi-Fi Pineapple, you will have captured the handshake and it will be available for download, just as a simple little PCAP. Now, if at any point you want to, you can come back to the PineAP page for reference and down here at the bottom, you'll actually see your WPA keys uh, that you can just go ahead and download the PCAP. And if you just go ahead and open this in Wireshark, you're gonna notice that you have exactly what you need to send to a cracking program. You've got a PCAP that's literally made up of just the portions of the handshake that we were able to capture as well as the beacon. And that's really nice because it means from here, you can just go ahead and continue on with all of the other steps that you would with any other cracking suite, which is really a topic for a future episode with a friend. But in any event, with that, uh, we're going to take a quick check-in on our Hack5 Gear giveaway. But first, thank our sponsor. 
Domain.com has all of your website needs from .com and .net to intuitive website builders. Create your online identity with their affordable, reliable tools. Even brand yourself with over 300 extensions from .club to .space. Domain.com loves Hack5, which is why you get 15% off domain names, hosting, and email when you check out with coupon code HACK5. When you think domain names, think Domain.com. Now, a few weeks ago, I was showing off some of the Pine AP features in the Wi-Fi Pineapple version 2.5. If you haven't already downloaded it, best version ever, you gotta grab it. And I asked for your favorite pineapple-related stories, and I have got to give it to Dominic Sheckler, who is the winner of our Hack5 Gear giveaway. He wrote in to say that his boarding school limits Wi-Fi, so a schoolmate impersonated the MAC address of a staff computer and now receives 24-hour high-speed Wi-Fi, which he shares with with all of the rest of the dorm using a Wi-Fi pineapple. Dude, I can't count how many times I've done something very similar to this on an airplane. Uh, I fly with a certain airline enough that I frequently get uh, free Wi-Fi vouchers. And, and what started as a cheap and easy way for me to share my single internet connection between my phone and my laptop on those long haul flights, uh, numerous times I've inadvertently turned into free Wi-Fi for the rest of the passengers. And no, that was not a free pen test in the air. That's just me being a nice guy. Dude, love the story. Reached out to hook you up with the Hack $500 gift certificate. And if you would like to win some awesome Hack 5 gear like a Wi-Fi pineapple or a packet squirrel or a new plunder bug, comment below about your favorite payload and I'll feature it here on the show or head on over to hack5.org to check out said gear and support us directly. And with that, I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your techno lust. <laughs>